Street Beast family. What's up, y'all? Face with ya. Man, listen. A lot of y'all that's in the group, you already know that we're kind of going through a destroy and rebuild phase. Um, and I talked about this in a post I made. Basically, you know, every year or so, we, we have a phase where maybe somebody who was a bigger member ain't with us no more. And as a result of that, some of their people or supporters leave the group as well, or we kick them out the group. And it, it causes a little friction in the group, uh, but it always calms down. And, and I don't think it's anything abnormal. Um, there's not an org or workplace on earth that don't have turnover, that don't have people leave. Some of them leave unhappily, some of them leave happily. But that brings me to my next point. You know, a lot of times in, in these incidents, one theme that I keep running into is, it's like some folks expect street beefs to try to make them happy, to to try to, to go above and beyond for them as an individual to make them happy. Now, don't get me wrong, we do go above and beyond for, for individuals. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and list anything, but there's hundreds of fighters that can tell you I've helped them in many different ways, financially, or pulled up and, and just gave them support when they was going through hard times. So we help. But when it comes to street beefs fulfilling you, you know, as an org, etc., cetera, you, you gotta find that within yourself. You know, what we bring to the table, and, and I've said this in another video, we give fighters a place to, to meet a bunch of people that are like-minded, that also like to fight. A, a great Facebook group where you can interact with people, you can meet training partners, um, you can find rides. We've raised money for people in need in the group. Just a variety of stuff in that Facebook group. We've had people whose kids didn't have nothing for Christmas and we raised them up three or $400 to get their kids some Christmas presents. That's, that's what the Street Beefs group does for people. But in the end, it's up to you to come into the org and into the group and, and make the most of it. You know, even if we weren't doing all that extra stuff, I would argue that what we're doing is big. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. Right now, I'm fighting for an uh, amateur boxing org on December 3rd, and I have to pay $1,700 for a head scan just to clear me to fight, okay? Now, that's, that's not something everybody will have to do, but people over 40 do. Secondly, even if you don't have to do that, a lot of orgs require you to get, pay for your own physical, pay for your own blood tests. Um, they damn sure ain't helping you with gas money to get to the event a lot of times. At Street Beefs, you get to walk in the door and fight. As long as you're 18 and, and state to us that you have no health problems that'll make fighting dangerous for you, you get to fight. That in and of itself is a big deal. But secondly, you know, a lot of the AMI orgs and even low-level pro orgs out here, you're not going to come in as an unknown fighter and fight and have 100,000 people see your fight. Sometimes 5 million people see your fight. That's just, it don't happen, okay? I mean, it's not poo-pooing any other org. It's just the simple facts. If you go look at some of these other orgs, their social media accounts, they're not... You know, some of the AMI orgs, they throw their vids up and it may get 5,000 views if you're lucky. So, as far as exposure, we're given something that a lot of other orgs are not giving. Okay? So, again, with Street Beefs, we offer you a brotherhood, sisterhood. You get to come in and meet people of all walks of life. Um, the Facebook group to me is amazing. You got people in there sharing workouts, um, 
giving tips, uh, you know, carpooling together. Just, it's, it's like a giant family, for real. Then, on top of it, like I said, I mean, we, we've had members who say they're struggling for this or their family may be struggling for a hotel room for the night for fights. Um, just little stuff like that. We try to raise up the money and, and make sure they get it. Or a lot of times I'll personally pay it. You're not going to find many fight groups like that. You're just not. But ultimately, in the end, it's up to you to come into Street Beefs and, and make it something good for you. You know, if all the stuff I just named isn't good enough for you, well, maybe Street Beefs ain't the place for you. But I can tell you, there's a lot of people that fought with us, some of which don't even fight no more. And they still love Street Beefs. They're still a big part of Street Beefs because it, it gave them something positive to be a part of. We are right now getting ready to do one of our most hyped events of the year. For those that don't know, Showtime and Venom Black are boxing December 4th. Um, it's funny, Showtime, Showtime's my guy too. I've said repeatedly Venom Black is my favorite fighter. Um, I just, I, you know, I like dude's style. I, I like his, his approach to the fight game. However, Showtime messaged me. He's like, look, I know you said that's your favorite fighter. He said, but uh, this is going to be a tough one. And I said, well, look, Showtime, you're one of my favorite fighters too. And that's the truth. Showtime can throw down. This fight right here, out of all our boxing matches, to me, it don't get no better. And and I'm, I'm just hyped to see who prevails because it's two totally different styles. So... That's just one big matchup on December 3rd. Shout out to Hart and the Fight. They're going to be doing some other matchup announcements and breaking those down for you, so keep an eye out. If you want to be a part of something great, join the Facebook group. I'm telling you, man, ain't nothing like street beefs. You know, for every person who, who, who leaves in a butt-hurt manner, there's 50 coming in the door that are excited to be a part of street beefs and love to be a part of it. And we love having them. Questions, comments, leave them below. See y'all soon. Peace.